I began working when I was just on my 15th birthday, and I've been doing it ever since. And I was lucky enough to go to um, uh, a, a wonderful headmaster, a little sco very briefly, a little scholarship that lasted one semester at an art school, a tiny art school in the middle of England. And, uh, Which town? West Bromwich. It's Indian now, completely. Um, and that's in the north of England, mid England? Middle, Midlands. It's just outside Birmingham. Birmingham. We all talk like that. Um, and uh, for just that brief spell opened up a world for me because the headmaster sent me to the Birmingham Rep, you know, which, from which Olivier Richardson Thorndike sprang, uh, run by a man called Sir Jackson. And, for, and I, I was there for a month. And just then when that was happening, Stratford on Avon was just being opened up by Barry Jackson and a very young Peter Brook and a very young Paul Schofield were beginning to experiment and... So we're talking late 40s? Yes, 40, right. 47, so 40, the end of the war, 45, so 46, uh, 47. And I was lucky enough, better or worse, to be on permanent staff because I was useful. I was young, I was cheap, and I was quick. And uh, because of no unions, I was able to do, be anywhere, I was sent anywhere. The paint frame one day, um, the, the uh, scene shop the next, props the next, wardrobe the next. And because I was useful, I got all the little grey areas to do. Anything that's not costume, or not props, or not scenery, oh, Des will do that. He'll figure it out. I had no idea what I was doing, no idea. My instinct's been good, and these have been good, but... Um, and you were how old? I was 15. 15? Mm. And I was on permanent staff at Stratford, which was lucky. I got three pounds ten a week, which is, what, about twelve dollars. And um, that, in 47, they decided to do a little Christmas show in Stratford. Stratford then was very tiny. It's, it's blossomed a bit now with McDonald's and the like. But um, they did a, um, a little musical based on uh, Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. And it's called Toad of Toad Hall. And my boss said, you're doing the clothes for it. You do, we need some design. So you'll do those now. Oh, OK. And so I was christened by fire by having to. And that's when I first began to be aware when act, a great many actors became friends. And quite a few of them, uh, they're beginning to drop off now. Uh, but in that year, um, Michael Horton was towed. It was all done for nothing, and it's strangely enough, in those right up until, until 20 or 25 years ago, I never heard the phrase, we haven't any money. That's only happened in the last 20 years, in my observation. But we were all equal, you know. Um, the the, the uh, palette that you had to work with, with stage management, actors, scene shop, wardrobe, we were all very equal. There were no splendid toys to play with. Maybe they had a typewriter in the office. Otherwise, right. you're all equal, very equal indeed. And uh, the blessings of it, it was, and this has happened all through my life, the most successful and the most enjoyable and the most integrated productions have been when they've been constructed, rehearsed under one roof. Right. And not mummy and daddy in one house and the kids in another. You know, it's a recipe for disaster. Uh, but Stratford then, um, we had um, directors would come, a rehearsal for a month. Um, it was very, it, by today's standards, it was very, very crude. There's no such thing as a lighting designer, sound person. Uh, actors did their own, big, more or less did their own, unless it was very special. Always did their own makeup and hairdressing. Um, mostly choreog uh, directors choreographed and unless there was a real f a dangerous fight they did those too who was to direct there's no lighting designer who lit the, who lit the director, stage the director Michael Langham was very very good he wouldn't own to it now but he was he's the guy I worked with most at Stratford-on-Avon uh, I began at Stratford-on-Avon but right. mo mostly here when you came here to Stratford-Ontario yeah. with yeah, Michael Langham and then in, at the Guthrie Theatre